Hey guys, this is the Antelope,r and welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy Tactics: War of the Lions. Uh, last time we just finished up the Cloud subquest and recruited him to our party, but uh, he's still missing his uh, Buster Sword. So we're going to be heading into Mount Vervenia, uh, which is a map we actually haven't done yet. Uh, but uh, this is where Cloud Sword is for some reason. Can't really say why. <laughs> I guess it's the same reason why we don't get items back that are stolen from us. Whatever. Uh, but, you know, you'd think that when you, uh, the th enemy thieves steal from you and then you kill them all, you'd get your items back, but it doesn't work that way. But, you know, whatever. It's uh, just how it works. But uh, let's go ahead and head into Mount Bravinia. We're gonna have to do some more item finding, but at least this time... I think it's the only item in the game where if you go on the tile where the sword is, uh, that's the uh, only item that you can get. There's no shitty item equivalent that you can possibly get, so I just gave uh, Mufind, our treasure hunter, to our uh, Dragoon this time so we have a more useful party member, so we gotta keep cycling back and forth just to try to get the battle real quick. There we go. It's just going to be a random battle, nothing too special, or maybe it will be, hard, hard to say. But it shouldn't be anything... it shouldn't be a big deal, is what I'm trying to say. So let's just get our usual party going. I ended up giving, um... our Dragoon the Germanus boots instead of the Tyner Rouge so that she has a little bit more movement and jump because uh, the spot that she needs to get to is on top of the volcano. Ugh, excuse me. Let's see it right. It's right up there at the very tippy top there. Now, as you noticed, uh, there's a whole lot of lava everywhere and I think it's the only map that actually has like lava on it. I could be wrong, but... Uh, as far as I know, I think that's the case. So, just go ahead and start wailing on some of these enemies. Uh, again, they're not too big of a deal. We really just have to make sure that we don't kill all of them before we get our Dragoon over there. Magical Reframe. No, that's not what we want. We want Nameless Song. Alright. Not too bad. We also get to show off for uh, Dragoon's new equipment as well. That'll be nice. Alright, also we have Rams as a rogue now, because uh, we did get enough uh, JP to unlock Thief. And uh, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping with this battle we'll also get him up to uh, unlocking Dragoon. And then once we get Dragoon to level 2, then we'll have... We only have to get make sure Knight and Monk are leveled up appropriately. I'm pretty sure Monk is, but I'm not sure about Knight. But that one's not too hard to level up. Oh, right. Um, forgot she can't be hasted. Hmm. Oh well. Let's do this. Yeah, she can't be hasted because she's got the mirror mail on. Usually she has a Tainer Rouge, so she never really needs buffs. over the damage. It's fine. Let's see. Wow, that's a lot. You can do a lot of damage. That also does a lot. Damn. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, this spear's no joke. Fly away. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a uh, a black bomb over there. 
very creatively called the Exploder. Hmm. What were you weak to? Fire? Yeah. I forgot about that. Salios. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you're Salios, so. Let's do that. Back just in time for the buffs to all but one of which miss. Hooray. Targeting Rams look quite a bit, aren't you? But luckily that didn't work. Boom. Just wait. Get you going a little faster. Ah, you're about to get a turn. Can we throw a stone? Nope. Go ahead and focus then. Get some JP. Yeah, it's a cool looking map. I like it. It's just too bad that it's not really used for anything. I mean, if you didn't know or have any inkling that uh, the Buster Sword was here, you probably never would come here, <laughs> which is kind of depressing. Can we hit you now? Nope. Nope. Alright, well, that's fine. Let's have you pass them. There we go. Oh, wow, that was a lot better. Even with a dagger, he still hits really hard. It's very good. Gotta make him move. Alright. I can hit him. Yep, not a whole lot going on with this battle, honestly. Just, uh, us going back and forth a lot. It's not a hard battle at all. It's, uh, there's nothing here we haven't seen before. We're about ready to... I think she can get up there in one more move. Alright. Not not very impressive, but still. Gonna Tailwind again.
There we go. Seems content on just sitting there, that's cool. Wait. I'll wait again. Wait. Yeah, notice that the the uh, bard songs also go past uh, the reflect as well, because she's now hasted. All right, so let's grab this Buster Sword or Materia Blade. I'm sorry. I think it was called Buster Sword in the other game, the uh, original version. But now we got Cloud Sword, that's good. Getting a little bold up there. Oh, that's why. It's gonna work. Nope. Not quite. Go ahead and finish off this fight then. No reason to stall. Or we can just have you do it. That works too. Boom. Easy peasy. Go ahead and uh, take a look at the uh, the materia blade. Um, let's see. Sword of extra planar origin, ten attack, ten block. I mean that's not bad, but uh, we already have equipment that's way better than that. That's the other reason why Cloud's not super great, because since you need the materia blade equipped, his, his uh, physical attacks will never be like really that impressive. So unless you're just want to challenge, and want, or just are curious about his abilities. He's not really worth building up when you already have characters like Orlando and Beowulf um, and Agrius, who all have like similar kinds of sword abilities, and they already are leveled up with your party, and they don't even require a specific sword either. So there's that. Uh, but we'll just for uh, the sake of feeling like we did something this episode, we'll do have to give him that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. It doesn't say here either that he needs the Materia Blade, so... Oh. I'm kind of hoping they actually change it in this version so that he doesn't need it, but I'm pretty sure he still does. I might mess around with it later, but whatever. Um... Let's see... Well, I know this is a really quick episode, but I think I'm going to end it here, guys. Uh, that's it for side content for a little while. We're going to be going back into the main story for uh, for a time. Uh, going to Limbrary Castle. So look forward to that, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Interloper signing out. Bye.